everyone! Today I want to talk about how I sprouted avocado seeds with the help of my goldfish. If you are watching this because you're planning to do the same, chances are you already have a fully cycled freshwater aquarium or you're planning to get one. Before we get to the clips where I show you what the fish do with the seed and what I look for when I pull the seed out, I want to talk to you a little bit about my system because it plays a big role on how fast the seed cracks and the root system develops. I have a 55 gallon tank that has a DIY PVC overflow leading to a sump. In the sump I have a 1000 gallon per hour pump. The pump takes water back to my tank through a 3 quarter inch pipe dropped into a hang on back filter that is not plugged in. The purpose of the hang on back filter is to house the clay pebbles, the pothos and the sprouting seeds. It also serves as a diffuser for the return water. I do not want my fish getting blasted with the return water hose. I have a complete aquaponic filter system. The water goes through various types of filter media including sponges, polyester, and ceramic rings. They house the bacteria that takes care of the ammonia and the nitrites. The heavily rooted pothos takes care of the nitrates. Okay guys, let's take a look and see what the fish do with the seed and what I look for when I pull the seed out of the water. seed from the fruit I do not clean it. I simply take the seed and drop it in the water. My tank is in a room where we spend a lot of time working and relaxing, and I interact with the fish daily. It's during that time that I inspect the seeds. After one or two days, the brown outer skin of the seed starts to come off. I help it along by scratching it and rubbing it. I start to look for signs of where the crack is going to develop, or see if there is an opening at the bottom of the seed. If I notice an opening at the bottom of the seed where it is obvious that water is getting to the inner core of the seed, then I pull the seed out and place it on the hang on back filter. At some point I also had a colander zip tied to the intake hole of my overflow pipe where I would place other seeds. That was before I modified my overflow to a single pipe and started the aquaponic system outside. If you don't have a sump but you do have a hang on back filter, you could easily modify it to accommodate plants and that would further help filter your water. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below. If you do this for yourselves, make sure to tag us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. That's it for now. God bless.